Hey everyone, this is Holly Knutson. I'm a functional health practitioner from Utah. And today I'd like to continue my cancer series and talk a little bit about Essiac tea and give you an easy recipe that you can make yourself at home. Essiac tea is a nourishing, soothing, and detoxifying elixir that is widely used as an alternative cancer therapy. The recipe was made by the Ojibwe Native American tribe and is often referred to as the tea of life. Renee Case, a Canadian nurse, helped scores of people heal from cancer, including people with advanced cancer. The tea's therapeutic properties make it a popular remedy not only for cancer, but for many other diseases and conditions as well, among which are diabetes, heart disease, allergies, AIDS, IBS, and diseases of the eye. The tea promotes homeostasis and cellular renewal. It purifies the blood, reduces inflammation, boosts detoxification, stimulates a healthy immune response, and is a powerful antioxidant. It also halts the growth of cancer and relieves pain. The herbs in the tea elevate the enzyme systems within the body, and this is particularly notable for people with cancer because the disease derails the function of enzymes, which are so crucial. Endocrine and liver function is greatly enhanced, which favorably impacts the immune system so the body can more efficiently fight the disease. The antioxidant profile of the tea reduces oxidative stress and the damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals contribute to chronic inflammation and cellular instability, which are possible precursors to cancer. Antioxidants are thought to prevent mutations within the cell, decrease the proliferation of malignant cells, and prevent tumor growth. Each herb is medicinal in and of itself, but has a synergistic effect when used in combination with the other herbs. Traditional Esiac tea is comprised of four herbs. Number one, burdock root. Burdock root promotes good immune function and acts as a diuretic, which stimulates detoxification. It maintains healthy GI function and reduces free radicals. It also promotes healthy glucose levels and decreases mucus. Number two, slippery elm. Slippery elm has an impressive mineral profile to nourish and soothe tissues, mucous membranes, and organs. It contains plentiful amounts of mucolages and tannins to dissolve mucus in glands and tissue. It aids in lung function and neutralizes acids caused from poor digestion. Slippery elm contains magnesium, calcium, and vitamins A, B, C, and K. Number three, sheep sorrel leaves. Sheep sorrel leaves maintain a healthy urinary tract and kidney function. It's rich in trace minerals and vitamins. It nourishes the glandular system and cools the body and stimulates sweating through the skin. And it aids in detoxification. Number four, Indian rhubarb root. It purges the liver of toxins and waste, neutralizes acids as a result of indigestion, delivers oxygen to all parts of the body, promotes healing, and has a beneficial and balancing effect on the digestive system. There are certain groups of people that should not drink the tea. Uh, the tea is contraindicated for pregnant and nursing women due to stimulation of the uterus, which could increase the risk of miscarriage or premature labor. Esiac tea enables the mobilization of toxins, which are then released into the bloodstream, making them available to a nursing infant. People with chronic diarrhea or abdominal pain should not drink the tea because the rhubarb root can worsen existing conditions. Rhubarb root can also stimulate intestinal peristalsis, so people that have bowel instructions shouldn't drink the tea, nor should those with colitis or ulcers, uh, because certain constituents can worsen these conditions. Elevated iron levels in the blood are also contraindicated. And anyone who has compromised liver or kidney function, notably a history of kidney stones and infections, should be cautious using the tea, as should those undergoing chemotherapy, although many people have used the tea with impressive results during conventional cancer treatments. People diagnosed with brain cancer should not use the 
guarantee due to the potential for swelling. These are general guidelines, however, so consult with your healthcare provider just to be safe. Now here's the recipe for Esiac tea. Making the tea yourself is a lot more economical than buying it, which in my opinion is not sustainable for the long haul. It's simple to make and once you get in the groove, you can whip up a batch in no time. Buy the herbs already blended makes the process that much easier, as does brewing up a double batch. As a precaution, use only stainless steel utensils when preparing the tea. This recipe will make approximately 64 ounces, which will last for about two weeks at three doses a day. And make sure to refrigerate it after making it. Number one, using either distilled or spring water, boil one gallon in a stainless steel pot. Pour in four ounces of the prepared herbs by weight and cover the pot. A digital scale is really helpful for dialing in exact measurements, and I'll put links below this video. Number three, boil the mixture for 10 minutes. Number four, stir the mixture and remove from heat. With the lid still on, let it sit for 12 hours at room temperature. Number five, stir and bring the covered pot to a boil, then remove from heat. Number six, using a fine mesh colander and funnel, strain the liquid and pour into two 32 ounce amber glass bottles. And once the liquid is cooled, make sure the cap is secure. Number seven, place in the fridge. The tea will keep for up to two to three weeks. Number eight, shake well to mix before drinking. Here's how to dose the tea. I dose Esiac in two ounce servings, which is four tablespoons, and it should always be taken on an empty stomach, 30 minutes away from food. The daily recommended dose is four ounces. For one dose, add two ounces of the prepared tea to two ounces of boiling water. And be sure to use distilled spring or filtered water. And before bed is a good time to sip on the tea. Drink the tea a minimum of twice per day and ideally three times if you have cancer. Consuming nine ounces of the tea three times a day in three ounce doses is considered an aggressive regimen for advanced and terminal cancers. Continue on this regimen for at least five months or until your cancer tests are normal. The tea will not negatively affect cancer treatments, including chemotherapy and radiation, although the treatments can decrease the potency of the tea. Once your tests are normal, you can reduce your consumption of the tea to 4 ounces daily, which is a maintenance dose. And also, you can cycle off and on the tea while on a maintenance dose, taking it for three to four weeks, then taking a break for the same amount of time. And this will give your body a break from the detoxification. The tea can be taken indefinitely without adverse effects and can be safely given to children and pets. And I think it has a pleasant taste. In summary, Esiac tea is a therapeutic remedy for many conditions and a healing tonic to maintain health. It contains four nourishing herbs that work synergistically to produce the tea's beneficial effects. Making it at home is both easy and affordable. If you have cancer, please look further into the benefits of Esiac tea. And please take the time to leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching.